this video is to show how simple and easy the firmware from a mic button on this XX controller for the KK board. So connecting here is an LCD to the KK Plus while the LCD port is a dedicated port uh, been uh, designed for this so you don't need to use a uh, separate uh, uh, these are uh, ESC uh, ports for that so you save one of the uh, connections so here demonstrators is starting loaded with the Copter Quad X uh, firmware you can cycle through the menu using the elevator here I'm using the mode 1 controller so here it is the throttle and roll this is a pitch and yaw to cycle you can use a pitch up or pitch down. So here pitch down, you can go to the basic menu, pitch down go to advanced, pitch down go to others, diagnostic, reset and back to the main menu. To select the menu, you can use the row. Right? Say yes. So we'll show you what is the firmware. To back is left. One, two, left left so simple thing is this is almost enter uh, so function like enter turn right is enter yes I want to select this select we do want to see it go back go back right this is a main menu so the most basic for most user is going to the basic menu say yes enter stick calibration this is the first step that typically we need to do just do right one more time set everything to normal zero and right one more time stay left you can see the LED blinking done so see it's also said done that's it back after finish total calibration you can use it to set the zero right again you cycle through the the uh, menu using this uh, uh, pitch stick I go to gyro over here you can select the gyro row you can select row or pitch or your or back to row so let's take the row gyro now I want to select the gain right so you want to select the gain or direction or gain back to gain so here it is I go for the gain again you select this and you alter the menu the value by up and down. Pitch up is up, pitch down is down. 55.5, 56, 56.5, or go back to 55. Right, when it's ready, done, you just take row left, go back. Same thing if you change the gyro direction. Right, you can select the gyro direction. Now we on row, remember just now we have selected the row. So direction for row, normal or you want reverse so all can be select from here so select 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 either one you want okay normal i can go back to menu so i can go back one level up to select pitch all right we can select pitch from here same thing it give you the two menu gain or direction now remember the gain for this uh, access control the your I mean, the the row and the pitch is using the same game. So if you adjust one, you will adjust the other. The direction is in the uh, uh, independent. Okay, go back one. So you can select your at the same time as well. Same thing you can do gain, or you can select the direction. That is the basic menu for gyro. It's a simple. So we have calibration, yeah, gyro. So basic menu, straightforward. If you want to do other changes, you can go to the advanced menu. Here it will allow you to do a little bit more setting. Zero. Row. You can go direction. Right. Same thing you can do this in the advanced menu as well. Right. Okay. You can select others. Or you can select the stick. Or you can select the profile. So default is the default. Other than that, it go back to other menu. So we have others menu to set items like 
the stick arm position, left or right, how long it takes to, to hold the stick, so can be done from here. Example like you want to change the side, or you want to change the point, or you can change the delay. So all can be set within this menu itself. Right. Other than that, it's going to be able to set the backlight. You can change the LED backlight to reduce, right, or increase. Right. So I'll go back to the 20. Right. Back here. Okay, I can select others to see the what other option I have. Now, light. Low voltage alarm, same thing can set from here. You can enable it. Yes, I want to enable. I enable it to active or disable. So let's say you can active. If I go active and I can select the LED, the, the calibration and I can select the low battery what's the voltage. And I can also select what device I want to use. Example being I can use it to turn on buzzer or I can use it to turn on LED. Right, when you select the LED mode, when you power on the systems, the LED will light on, turn on. So do not turn using LED if you connected a buzzer. Otherwise, your buzzer will turn, uh, will, will be on permanent. So what it, it does is that when you select LED, when you power on the, system, the, the KK board, it will turn on the LED. When it detected the low voltage, the LED will flash. Okay, so I'll select the LED, low voltage alarm. Okay, backlight. Example, like just now was mentioned that you can select the uh, 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 the the calibration if you want to. You actually can calibrate. Now I do not have because I don't have a voltage in here, right? It's not connected. Otherwise, you can collect uh, uh, do the uh, calibration. And you can just set the low voltage. What is the voltage you want to trigger? Right. So here, I hope this simple menu navigation example done demo is show how easy the user can just set with this uh, KK board. Right. Go back to the stick. You can also check the, the gyro and others if you want to. Right. I don't gonna go to detail, but basically, this is a simple demonstration is to show the basic step for most user. We only need to use the basic menu. Start with the uh, calibration. That's it, right? And for those who want to do throttle cal uh, calibrations, the procedure is still the same, right? Without uh, the, the 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 system turn on, right? You power off. Throttle to maximum. Assuming now you power on the KK board. on the KK board right because it's detected the high it will show is that a throttle calibration range so as usual you go through your uh, calibration cycle after done you put down there you go finish you have to recycle they start the KK button again power on and size control you're back to normal so your throttle calibration is done so that is a typical step for all the uh, basic setup thank you